Hey everybody, what's up tonight? Well, I got another video. <laughs> they just keep popping. This time it's about Ginger. So KG seems to think that Ginger is going to be shunned by her family, by Jim Bob and her family because of her book. I don't know. I'm not so sure. I just think she needs to stop talking and just let the family be and, you know, let things be because she's making it worse than what it needs to be, I think. But that's just my opinion. Are you ready? I'm not, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> And it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. This day is Friday, November 4th, 2022. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are going to take a little bit of a break from the Sister Wives and jump on over to a story that came out a few days ago about Ginger Duggar and uh, one of her family friends from when she was growing up speaking out about her new book. Now, the individual that is speaking out, her name is Mary. She actually uh, is a friend of the family. Her father was pretty high up in the IBLP. I've actually had a chance to get to know Mary over the last several years, and she is a new woman and has an valuable insight about Ginger's journey and what I expect from this book. Now, I know a lot of people say that this is going to be an underwhelming book, and they claim that her ghostwriter of this book is someone that's with the Master's Seminary, and it will just be them dictating why Jeremy's belief system under John MacArthur is better than what she grew up with under Bill Gothard. I think there might be some truth to that. I don't discount that this could be filled with propaganda for the John MacArthur faith system, but people might underestimate just how impactful and how insulting this will be. I think she's hyping this book up and then not hyping this book up and then hyping this book up and then not having like, I don't know which way KJ's trying to go here. Um, I'm just, I would just say, you know, let it come out first and then read it and then give an opinion. Quit talking about it and making it seem like it's going to be this big explosion and then take it back. Because apparently you seem to know everybody who's involved in this book or you seem to know the Duggar's friends or your so-called sources and whatnot. Um, it's just irritating to me how she thinks she knows everything and she's got all these sources and she talks to this person and that person. Cause I don't believe that for a second, not one damn bit. I really don't. Um, oh, and, and so this video was done in the same day as yesterday's video. And as you can see, she's not feeling herself. So the next video I'm going to do, I, mean, I think she's showing herself on this next video. So if she is, I just want to see it. Take a look at her face. Let me know if you see anything different. Because I'm telling you, she's got some work done. That's the only time she ever, ever doesn't show her face. Because she's obsessed with herself. She's a narcissist. She loves to look at herself. She's always in, out, in. Like, it's just disgusting. But anyway, so... <laughs> to Bob and Michelle because none of their kids other than Jill and Derek have really come out and said they don't believe in the IBLP anymore. And you see where they live today. They're shunned on Shun Island. And this is the fundamental belief system that others have created their entire life around. They've written books around the IBLP belief systems. They are keynote speakers for the IBLP. They're a huge draw in the IBLP. They've recruited thousands of people to the IBLP and most of their friends are members of the IBLP. So for a public, for a book to be written that dissects why the way that someone grew up under Gothard is bad, it, that's a, it's kind of a slap in the face to Jim Bob will take that as a slap in the face. Everyone with brains knows that Gothard's teachings are wholly flawed and extremely problematic to say the least. So let's dive into why Ginger's childhood friend thinks that she is at risk of being shunned because of her new book. Before we jump into this, can you do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, please consider subscribing to my channel you can she's getting irritating with this begging and now she's at 278 278,000 followers I call fucking bullshit how is it that she's gaining and yet we're losing I still haven't gotten my subs back I'm way below it's bad I lost a lot so if you guys still want to be sub can you please subscribe back to me that would be great um sucks. I lost a lot. I don't like it. 
it's like, you know what I mean? You work hard, you get your subs, you interact with your subs, and the next thing you know, poof, they're gone. But yet this asshat gets to stay on YouTube and so has all her subs. Sorry, she's gaining more subs. No, there's no way. It's amazing to me how her subs go up, but yet ours are taken. That does not make sense to me whatsoever. Do so by clicking the button. It is totally free and hit that on the way out. Turn the bell on or ring the bell, let's just say, so that you never miss a video and get notifications. And leave some comments. If you have something to say. I always love to hear your point of view. Start. I've looked for other people's point of view where she's actually interacted with them and said nice things back. I have yet to see one. If you guys have, let me know. But I doubt it. She doesn't like anybody's point of view. If she's wrong in any sense or you try and critique her or anything, she goes ape shit and you're blocked, you're deleted, you're this or that. It's just, wow. She cannot take even one comment. If I were to say, I disagree, I don't think that's going to happen. She, oh my God, she'd lose her shit. I'd be blocked. I already am blocked. Yeah, you can't say anything. So I don't understand why she keeps saying, oh, leave a comment. Why? You delete them all. Everyone, she's blocked more than half the internet. So there's no way in fucking hell she has all these subs. I'm sorry. You, it, no. Um, if you look at her views and then you look at her subscriber count, it's nothing matches up here. Not one damn bit. Nothing matches up here. That's why I call bullshit. This. So the book is set to be released in January, and we've already seen a video come out by Judd Duggar which says that his dad is a very humble man, that uh, these, these, they're not brainwashed at all, not brainwashed, and uh, that he has a mind of his own, that parents are great people, that he's so thankful for the way that he was raised. They weren't perfect, but he's so glad. And I think as the weeks ramp up for the release of this book, you're going to hear that directly more from Duggar Camp. So her book, which is titled Becoming Free Indeed, is all about her experience growing up under the IBLP. So uh, Mary, who actually grew up in the IBLP, her father, Dodie Murphy, is one of the, he was like the medical dude in the IBLP. She was actually shunned and excommunicated from the church when she started questioning the Institute and Basic Life Principles religion. And she said that the same thing likely happened to gender when the book is released. So Mary said, Jim Bob and Michelle's reaction to the book will depend on the contents of the book, as well as the approach. It is the memoir a tell-all? Will Ginger call Michelle and Jim Bob out? If so, the likelihood of Jim Bob shutting Ginger out and cutting her off raises. So I might not call them out, but there was something in her book that I thought was a little interesting because one aspect is she eagerly submitted to the umbrella of authority. Any disobedience of parents would place her outside of God's protection. So she is saying that this, there's this fear that if you step outside of the umbrella, God's protection is gone. And that creates a standard of fear that she lived convinced that obeying that rule would make her successful in life. And they even wrote a book about it. So I don't know how much she's going to go into detail about what that felt like at home. But if she does, that definitely, I agree, would cause concentration in her relationship. See, that's my problem here. The book hasn't even come out yet. It doesn't come out until January 2023. Why not let the book come out, read it, and then have an opinion? Quit speculating and causing drama where there doesn't need to be. Like, honestly, she just doesn't stop. It's like, tell me you don't have content without telling me you don't have content because she doesn't. Every single video she's been doing for the last few weeks is crap. It's all lies and bullshit. All lies and bullshit. I wish more people would call her out because like this is I've had it with her. Just had it. I'm so like I am really angry. I don't understand how good creators lose their subs and then lose their channels. But yet this piece of shit gets to stay. That's not fucking right. Not at all. Not one damn bit. I want to be clear i don't hear in a close relationship at this point at all in fact i believe that ginger rarely goes back home to arkansas and when she does she's not there for very long and when anyone goes and visits her in california it's never her father so there's really a to me that relationship has heard. and her source talked to said that ginger is 
partially at this point shunned, whatever that means. And Mary continued by saying this. However, if here we go, more bullshit, more speculating, more bullshit. Um, if she's still talking to her family, she's not fucking shunned. Quit talking shit. Get your facts right before you open that big fat mouth. Ginger's book is not her family image or the facade of perfection, then I don't expect Jim Bob to cut her off. I'm eager to read the book. I imagine Ginger is a few years into this journey. In another 10 years, there will be another book because it is a long journey. A lot of people did say that, you know, Ginger's at the very beginning of letting go of the IBLP belief system. And someone in my comments a while ago said, you know, it would be really astounding if someday one of the Duggar kids actually writes a book and says, I'm not believing in any of this. All of this was a farce or I'm an atheist. Or if in 10 years she says what Don McCarthy is wrong. You know, if you're moving from one strict belief system to another, is this the one because that's what people are telling you or is this what you actually feel? But Mary contends that she's proud and happy for Ginger and that stepping forward to tell your own story represents a vital part of taking your agency back and finding your voice, which I'm actually totally in agreement with. The fact that she's even daring to write a book on this topic is a big step. And people might want all of the dirt, but you have to consider this is baby steps for these kids. Like they're adults now, but they've been brainwashed. That's the thing, KJ. You're the only one that's hyping up this book and then bringing it down a notch and then hyping it up again. You're the only one who's running your mouth. Again, wait till the book comes out, read it, then have an opinion. Because this whole speculation on every fucking video is just crap. Like you're not, you don't own the, the Duggars. You don't own them. You don't know what's going on. You are not a Duggar, even though I know you damn well want to be. You're not a Duggar. You're not in this family. You're not friends with the family. You're not friends with the source of the family. So quit your bullshit and just quit talking. Quit making shit up. I don't like that at all. Like they have enough to go through. You know what I'm saying? And if this woman is trying to come out from underneath her father, you're fucking ruining it. <laughs> like, shut up. The time they were young, and for them to you know, even say I is wrong, is a huge step. As far as if um, she's surprised, Mary's surprised if Ginger is breaking free about it, she says, I'm not surprised at all that she's breaking free. I hope all of them will come to a point of seeing the truth and stepping out into freedom. I'm not surprised. I'm super happy for her as she continues to move forward and heal. She continued that everyone's journey is going to be different with each one. This is why I'm saying she has no sources. And that's why she credited the son. Because this whole transcript is from the son, not KJ. And she's insinuating and she's stating that she's talked to Mary. And Mary's told her the same thing. But yet she doesn't, KJ doesn't have any of these facts. She's got them from the son, which the son got from Mary, not KJ. And the only reason why she tagged the son because she knows she'll catch hell for it like she always does because she always fucking uses their stuff and plagiarizes and their pictures and their photos and everything else i'm serious she always does that so that's why she takes the son so that she can't get attacked or she doesn't have to take down anything because um she can say yeah well this is from the son then but yet she's already stated that she talked to mary which i'm telling you is bullshit she got it from the son and yet is using this to say well i talked to her no you fucking didn't like stop lying but because she put the credit to the sun, she gets away with it. Now I'm on to her bullshit. It does break free. The pressure on the others becomes more intense. I do think it's probable. It's just going to take some time. So it is very difficult. I've spoken to a lot of people that have left the IBLP and have left fundamentalism like that. And they do say that uh, it's not frequent that all siblings leave the group. Uh, it's more common that it's a couple outliers. So right now you're seeing a few outliers that have left the belief system, but they're still doing What the hell is an outlier? <laughs> what? What is an outlier? Someone please explain that. Majority still in it. So you have know, to leave like everything that you know. And then when you step away from the IBLP and you realize that it's a lie, you have to admit to yourself that everything you knew about life from the beginning of your birth till the time of your, wherever you are when that happens, wasn't true. Everything you knew about the world is false. Everything that they taught you is a lie. And it really messes with people's identities. It causes sort of crisis. 
have to relearn and sort of rethink and retool and learn how to think for yourself. And that's not easy because thinking for yourself is not allowed. Critical thinking is not allowed in the IBLP. Mary credits Ginger's attire <laughs> as one of the steps that might have helped her. It says, the more outside influences and voices help you see what life is like on the outside, even traveling international nationally and having that separation to put input in from other story sto sources. Starting to see, wait, this is not how life is like in my house. What's going on here? Starting to ask those questions. Very proud comments that they made. And as far as what Mary said about herself uh, and her journey, you know, something that we've not talked a ton about on this channel is the, the stay at home daughter movement. And it's basically where one of the daughters stays home and their job is to take care of the kids and the family and the home and be sort of like the second in line to mom and serve their hu their husband, which is their dad, uh, and make sure that everyone is taken care of. So this, this is what You're fucking gross, Katie. Seriously, you're actually gonna say that? Her husband is her dad? Wow. <laughs> Come on, Duggars. Send more of those cease and desists. Make sure she ignores them too so that you can sue this bitch because this is disgusting. Experience. She said, I was in my mid 20s, began to see in my own family the hypocrisy between the facade we put into the world and what went on at home. As I began to see that in my own mind, in my heart and life, I started pushing back against that. My parents saw that they were going to lose control of me. That was very important. That was very important for them to maintain control of me in order to protect their reputation and facade. I was shunned and excommunicated from the cult. That's when I last touched with the Duggar girls specifically. So, you know, every single family, there's a lot of families that go through a lot in this world. Bill Gosh is about, about being perfect and becoming the most perfect person. And it's, you know, it's set up in a world where women are, if they have a problem with their husband, they, they can't, they have to follow rules, you know, they have to make a wise appeal to their husband. So if their husband's cheating on them, they have to make an appeal to their husband first about cheating and, and ask them to stop or whatever the behavior is. You know, some husbands in this world take to the dark terms of like, where the Hi, my name's Sahar and I'm the founder of Lux Arts and we make products for curly hair that actually work with their wives as far as whether it's in the bedroom, whether it's uh, physically getting aggressive, you know, they like property and because women How many times does she have to bring up this bullshit? Like I've heard enough of it. I don't want to think about these poor women being abused even if it's happening, like she's insinuating so much here and it pisses me off. And she wonders why she gets sued. Wow. Appeal to their husbands to stop whatever it is that they're doing that's because the agency to say no. And then she will then look at that as, oh my God, this is my fault that he said no because I wasn't faithful enough. So it must be my fault that I made the wrong appeal to him. And therefore I need to try harder. It puts women in a situation where they can't win. They always will blame themselves. They'll be blamed if something happens. Well, the fact that I blew up at you is because you stepped out of my umbrella of authority and I had to react to save you from the depths of Satan. Women are in a lose-lose situation. And a lot of you pointed out that it's easy for Jed Duggar to say what he says because the girls in the IBLP Duggar family live in a different world and have a completely different experience. Men are groomed to be leaders, headships, patriarchs, have no limits, have total authority, and women are taught to sub submit, obey, be joyfully available, uh, not talk back, keep a sweet countenance and happy face. And, you know, they're not, they lose agency, no personal agency. And so even if you are disappointed by Ginger's book. You just have to understand what a big moment it is for her in that respect. And her the fact that she's doing this, I'm it's not easy to step out of the shadows per what Mary says. And I'm glad that Mary herself is starting to step out of the shadows. Uh, her podcast is wonderful. The advocacy work that she does for other people um, on her out of the shadows page on Instagram and really just everything that she talks about from, you know, parents leaving this group to trying to get custody to dealing with, you know, the divorces because she's divorced. There's a lot of things that happen um, when you leave the belief system, and a lot of times when women divorce, it's their arranged marriage a lot of kickback. She does a lot of advocacy around that. So, good job for Mary for speaking out, and we'll just have to continue to wait and see what Ginger and her family expect more damage control coming soon. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys. 
she's way too happy at the beginning and ending of her videos when they're all horrible. And she might want to be careful about that word grooming. We already know about Josh. She might want to fucking watch it. And I'm sick to death of her insinuating that there's others like him. That pisses me off. It really does. She has no right. She has no right to this family. She doesn't own this family. She seriously needs to back the fuck off. Um, I have a question though too. Okay. So the channel TLC, why the hell was the Duggars on it then? Or sister wives, if they're both cults, wouldn't that go against the principles? A cult isn't favored at all. So why the hell would, if they're cults, why are they on TV? Why were, why was one on TV? Why was the other one? Why is the other one still running? Like, I don't understand if these are cults, why are they a show? Why are they on TV? Because to me, that would be showing, oh, this is great. Let's join a cult. Let's become a sister wife or a Duggar, you know. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm not saying they're perfect. And I'm not saying um, that there's probably nothing wrong. What I'm saying is um, I've seen, I've read books. I've seen clips. I've watched movies. Uh, I've read a lot of newspapers. I've seen a lot of articles and they don't seem cultish to me. They're, you know what I mean? If it was a true cult, they wouldn't be on TV. They wouldn't be emphasizing on these families. I just, I don't know. All right, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, hope you all are well. Hopefully, you guys got your channels back. And um, I hope so. I Just keep appealing, guys. That way you can get them back. This is ridiculous. Um, I don't like it. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a great night. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Bye.